Hello and welcome to my tutorial for cutting out images in Photoshop CS6. So, um, the way that I would cut out an image myself, now there are many different methods that you can use to cut a person or a thing out of a bigger image. Now, the way that I've always done it and the way that I use is something called this magnetic lasso tool. So, you can get to this by holding down your mouse over the lasso tool here and highlight a magnetic lasso tool. You can also right click and click magnetic lasso tool. So, what this tool does is it snaps to certain colors. So, as you can see, when I click and drag, I'm snapping to his jacket and to his shirt and to his skin. And then what you can do is you can select, you can join it all up, and you can select an error, and you could delete it, for example. Um, so I'm going to be using this tool to cut out Chris Pratt from this image. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a blank transparent layer, and I want to place it behind him. So to remove the lock on this JPEG, I need to click on this lock and just drag it to the trash. Simple as that. And now I can click this layer over here and I can drag it above my transparent layer. Now the reason I've done this is so that if I delete something it will leave a blank space behind him. So if I command alt z I can backspace. Okay so now I'm going to select the method laser tool and I'm going to cut him out. So you may want to do certain portions of him so you could zoom in to select um, more specific portions for example I will zoom in and I will do underneath his arms so I can zoom in here and I can click with my magnetic laser tool and all I'm simply doing is moving my mouse I'm not clicking anymore I'm not doing anything like that I'm just simply moving my mouse up and I'm going to click up here to create an anchor point as you see when I click it produces a square so if a square is not being produced automatically you can click and that can be useful when trying to change direction so now I'm just going to connect him up here delete the background select the eraser tool give it some size and rub out the rest so I need to deselect where I'm selecting you can do that by simply clicking that select tool and clicking anywhere else on the screen so I'm just going to simply erase this bit out and there we go I have removed underneath his arm on that side now I'm going to go around the whole of his body a bit more to give it a more accurate cutout or to do the bulk of the cutout shall I say so as you can see I'm moving across now I'm pretty sure that the way Photoshop does this is that it picks up on the different color changes. So if someone is on a bright background such as a green screen, it can be quite easy to simply cut them out. Now the issue that comes when you're cutting out a person is the hair. So after I've cut out Chris Pratt, I'm going to show you a way that you can clean up the hair slightly on certain backgrounds or certain backdrops so now that I've done that I simply want to just click my way back around to where I started and delete so that's cut him out quite a bit and now I can simply go over with my eraser tool and rub out a lot of the excess stuff on the sides that I do not need there we go I could also crop this image so I can do that by selecting this going to image and crop so cutting off the background even more so the only bit left I really need to address is the bottom of his left well his right arm my to my left so if we move over here the more we're zoomed in, the easier it is to see the exact parts that we may need to remove. And it's just a magnetic laser tool creating anchor points, and when it isn't, I'm creating them myself. 
so that's underneath his shirt it can be a bit fiddly sometimes you can adjust the variables up here but sometimes there is little need sometimes it can be a pain so I'm just going to deselect what I've got selected and rub out just tiny little bit down here right okay so let's zoom out now so now I can copy this whole layer by selecting in the layer Control or Command A will select the whole of the image so you'll see this dotted line appearing outside and then Control C will copy so if I create a new file say I want to create a new desktop background for my computer I can paste him on now you'll see that this image was at 33.3% so it was actually at a third of its original size so that's what it originally looks like full zoom 100% on my computer so you can also resize an image as well so you can do that by pressing control T while on the layer and this will enter transform so if we zoom out we can transform the image so a good tip is to hold down the shift key and drag from the corners that will keep all of the aspect ratio in shape so if we drag him to about here and we press return or enter it will save the image that I have cut out now as you can see I have this horrible line up here that was left that remained from before so I can simply erase that with the eraser tool and I can do the same here so simply erase that out now I'm going to show you how to clean up the hair slightly but before I do that I'm just going to add a background color so if we create a new layer as I've seen here the create new layer button is down here so you can just create one easily and now if I go to the bucket tool I can simply fill it in with some color so as you can see he, he's cut out it looks quite nice but the hair looks a bit blocky a bit messy so what I like to do here is I like to brush it out so you select a razor you want to have a brush and you want to change the hardness of this eraser down now what you can do here is if we zoom in this brush is probably a little bit too big still so I'm going to decrease the size slightly and then you can start brushing out ever so slightly just the edges just removing that blockiness just making it a bit more now if you feel like you've done it too much you can just press ctrl Z and it will redo it now I want to step forward not step backwards okay just just remove I'm rubbing out the wrong layer just remove some of the blockiness so just give it a light little overlay and because this is hair it doesn't matter too much normally in my opinion now as I said at the start of the video there are multiple ways to go about with erasing an image from its background there are multiple ways to do this and some people will tell you that this is the wrong way but this is the way that I learned this is the way that I found the easiest and I'm just making this video so that you guys may be able to use this method yourself and you may find this method to be the easiest way and you may find it works and gives you the results that you are hoping for so sometimes it looks like a little bit too much but as you can see when we zoom out a bit it doesn't actually look too bad at all if anything kind of works now as I've said before you can do it too much but sometimes it's just for you to judge really and sometimes it can help to zoom out you could always have a bigger brush the problem is it is quite like going for a haircut I suppose once you've rubbed it out it is gone and to get it back um, you'd need to copy and paste this back on really but there we go I, I, I could I could leave it like that and we could make the background a little bit more noisy we could add some fancy fancy brushes onto the background if we so wish by adding them onto a new layer giving them some sort of color let's go for a blue if we can brush it on a bit but yeah that's basically how I would go about with cutting out images um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, do post them in the comments below. 
and thanks for watching.